Recently, at Layuna's Mason Tenders Training Fund in Queens, New York, a meeting was held at the request of the White House. The Obama administration sent Nancy Sutley, chair of the Council on Environmental Quality, to explore jobs in weatherization and energy efficiency in the city of New York. Sutley arrived at the training site to observe the weatherization training classes and to speak with other city organizations to discuss the issue of jobs and energy efficiency. Sean Brennan, Lyuna Training's Mason Tender Training Fund Director, and Ms. Sutley toured the center to witness the hands-on training area used in the weatherization classes, where trainees learned to become weatherization installer technicians. They also made a brief stop in the classroom, where she heard from the trainees. I, I wanted to say I, lo I love the instructors here. They're very, you can tell they know what they're talking about. You know, they're not just saying something because they want us to hear it. They know what they're speaking about. And they make us understand what they mean, too, from their point of view. Mm -hmm. And they've taught us a lot of things, you know, how to think differently and see things certain ways. So it's been beneficial to us. They teach us safety first, and safety is very important. And without knowing that, you're not beneficial out there. So the fact that they're teaching us more so on safety as to everything else is a, definitely a great thing. Students then presented her with two Layuna hard hats, one for her, the other for President Obama. The attendees then gathered with the chairwoman to discuss weatherization and other energy topics. These initiatives really need to target the, the most vulnerable communities. They absolutely have to do that. We also have to be able to build capacity on the ground because this can easily become uh, the, 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 our, the millennial version of the 70s poverty program. And so we want to make sure that green jobs really are addressing uh, root causes and that, uh, that organizations like ours that are actually the ones that are actually doing the transformational work on the ground have access to those resources and that we're able to build capacity to do that. Uh, we feel that it's really important that all retrofit programs at all level of government kind of uh, stop thinking of it in a retrofit and forget attitude. It's, it, it's really, it's a longer process Operations and maintenance is one of the critical areas of that process, but you can't just go into a building, fix the equipment in it, and then forget it ever existed afterwards. If you really want to see the energy benefits afterwards, you've got to stick with that building. You have to maintain interaction with it. You've got to make sure the people who are using that building, tenants, owners, or, or superintendents, or building staff, are really keeping up the, uh, the investment that's been made. We're trying to figure out how to create jobs. We saw it went through, we saw the trainees downstairs being trained and we just feel like we've got the model uh, put in place to be able to create a pipeline, you know, kind of pathways out of poverty for folks to come into local 10, uh, make 17 10 an hour, and have health insurance, um, and, and pursue a career and take advantage of the training that we you know, offer here. The president is committed to growing a new clean energy economy and weatherization, retrofitting buildings, existing buildings are really important part of that. And one of the things that we know we need are trained workers who can do that because we, we believe this is a tremendous growth opportunity and jobs uh, demand all over the country. So it's good to come and see firsthand um, a training program aimed directly at getting people into this growing into this growing field. So uh, one of the questions everybody always has is are, are there enough workers to do this uh, energy efficiency retrofit at the scale that we think is necessary to move our country to uh, more energy efficient and uh, stronger economy. In the Recovery Act, there's $80 billion in clean energy investments, uh, a lot in research and development and in renewable energy technology, but a lot uh, devoted to uh, really making, uh, putting the U.S. Uh, out front in, in the leadership role in areas of energy efficiency and getting people trained and into jobs uh, right away. I think most uh, most people, most homeowners, don't have a great idea about how their homes use energy. Uh, they get a bill at the end of the month from the utility company, and um, but but part of I think the reason that a lot of people don't um, get their homes uh, tuned up from an energy performance is they don't know who to call, they don't know 
you know, if they are bringing somebody into the home, whether they're trained. And so these kinds of training programs are going to be really important for, uh, for the home uh, energy retrofit market to grow that so that you know as a homeowner, if you want to invest in energy savings, if you want to take advantage of weatherization programs, that the people who are coming into your home are, are trained and will do the job right. And these kinds of training programs are really uh, critical and uh, it seems uh, you know, really teaching the kind of skills so that people have confidence about uh, that they'll get what they uh, what they think they're going to get from energy savings. As chair of the Council on Environmental Quality, Ms. Sutley advises and assists the president in developing environmental policies and initiatives. After spending the day at Lyuna's Mason Tending Training Fund, she left knowing that Lyuna is training men and women for the green jobs of the future. Uh, it's really uh, important to think for the kinds of skills um, and to get people familiar with those uh, kinds of skills and into this really uh, new growth opportunity in jobs to, to come and have the kind of training they're getting here.